The team at Musselburgh are gearing up for their big trials day on the first weekend of February. And to give you an insight into the track, Harriet Graham tells us more. We've obviously had some, some, some severe weather this, this time. We've had frost, we've had snow and we've had rain. But we've kept a lovely bit of fresh ground for this, this weekend and we moved all the hurdles and all the chase fences. So the ground staff have been extremely busy over the last week. That's the beauty of having portable fences, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, really without them, you'd really struggle because you'd be jumping on the same bit of ground again and again. We've got four chases on Saturday, one being four miles. So, you know, we're going to really use the ground. What's the circumference of the track? It's about one mile one, one mile two. So, yeah, depending whether you're on the inside. Once they pass the post, we're into the, the famous all weather bend, which has really almost paid itself since it was installed. I mean, it's fantastic. It means that we actually don't have to worry about that bend. We don't do rail movements on it. We just um, manage how we get onto it on the turf to the sand bends and off it. But I mean, we, we just harrow it and it's fantastic. And you know, you would think, would we be racing sometimes if we hadn't put that in? And probably the answer is not. Yeah. Is, is, it, a fi is it fibre sand? Is that it? It's fibre sand, yeah. just like at Southall and I think um, is it Fontwell that's put one in as well yeah and the all-weather bend takes them down the far side and then the far turn it's been banked for many years but it's 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 not half been a, a godsend as well just brings them nicely into the the home turn yeah I mean that was before my time and apparently it was a really tight bend and you danger of people slipping and stuff and had quite a reputation so I mean the forethought to, to Musselboro Racecourse that they put the cambered bend in and you know we don't really have any problems we obviously have to manage the turf there and you know keep make, doing doing moves and we've got a chase bend and a hurdle bend um, so we get through the season really well and obviously the flat, flat course as well. And producing nice ground just before Cheltenham, you usually attract a, a really decent type of horse. Yeah, I mean, we probably, if it's been a wet winter, we probably, obviously we raced on soft ground last time and obviously it's raining at the moment. Um, so we do get softer, but we probably never get as holding or as heavy as um, places like, you know, maybe air and stuff. So we, I think we do offer something different in February for, for, and that's hence why the Southern trainers come up here and also the very good prize money, obviously. So that's the track, but what about the programme? Bill Fansworth details the changes that the meeting has undergone this year, now in direct competition to the inaugural Dublin Festival. It was a great trials meeting last year, um, but 13 of the 15 races, um, the prize money all went down south. So we did just want to try and boost the prize money a bit in some of the lower grade races and also just in boost the quality a bit of the lower grade races so that every race um, that you win at Cheltenham Trials Day is, is a race worth winning, but also um, make them accessible to all the trainers who support us all year round because the trial races, you know, really, the way these trial races and these, uh, you know, the grade one races at Cheltenham, you need really good horses to compete in these. So you tend not to get the likes of Dizzy, who won, who won, I think, a selling race at Musselburgh and then went on to win the Triumph Hurdle. That kind of thing doesn't seem to happen anymore. You've got to spend the money and you've got, you know, and it's really the big guns that operate in that field. So we wanted to introduce a few more races that are a bit more attractive to, to the people that support us all winter. You were thinking of maybe tinkering with the hunter chase in particular but I, I don't know how tied your hands were yeah uh pretty tied really because we have to we operate within a sort of race programming system um that is set by the british horse racing authority um but i have to say we we're a bit uncomfortable with the hunter chase uh last year it was won by horse wonderful charm rated 154 he previously run in the cheltenham gold cup the grand national trained by paul nichols um I absolutely, uh, um, you know, I wouldn't criticise Mr Nichols for, for sending him to win a 10 grand race, but, but you know, our hunter chase was supposed to be a stepping stone for point-to-pointers who've moved up the ranks and might get to run at Cheltenham. So it's a kind of, um, it's part of that journey and if they can run and win a 10 grand race on the way, it's great, but we, we would really like those horses to come from the point-to-point -point field and we'd like our race to be aspirational but instead it's, it's a sort of uh, almost a consolation race for a very good horse who's coming to the end of his career. So we've reduced the prize money to £5,000 from £10,000. Um, I've no doubt we'll still get good horses coming. Um, it's nice to see them. There's nothing we can do about that because that's the way that British racing is framing Hunter Chase at the moment. 
um, but we, we didn't think it was the best way to spend our money and we've put some of that money into the slightly lower grade handicaps on the card. Can you envisage any more changes coming in the future, particularly with an eye on the, the Dublin Racing Festival, which clashes directly with Musselburgh trials? Yeah, there'll, there'll be changes in the future because uh, uh, there's so much more we could do with this day. So we want to put more prize money into the trial races. We'd like them to become listed races, possibly even graded races one day. Um, we've done that with the Scottish Triumph Hurdle trial. We'd like to do it with the Albert Bartlett trial and the Supreme trial as well and the, and the novice um, chase as well. So there's plenty we can do with the day and we will keep building up the trial races. But equally, we'd like to put more prize money into um, some of the handicaps so that these are big races. This is a big day to have a winner in Scotland and it's open to all the people who support us all winter.